What is up you guys? It's Alexa and welcome back to my channel. So if you guys are subscribed to my channel, there is a 99.9% .9 chance you guys are also subscribed to Amber Scholl's channel. And if you guys don't know who Amber Scholl is, she's basically the DIY queen of YouTube. She recently did a video where she took a regular dress and upcycled it and made it into a really cute prom dress. I love that video so much, so I figured I would do my own take on it. In my video, I'm taking a really old prom dress, one that is just outdated and basically falling apart, and I'm revamping it into a cuter prom dress and one that girls would actually wear to this day or like one that's like in style now. I am partnering up with Poshmark for this video. Poshmark is an app where you can buy and sell clothes with other people. It is completely free and you guys can download it using the link in my description box below. You guys know me, I love to thrift. I'm thrifting like every day. I love that Poshmark is basically thrifting but in the comfort of your own home on your phone which is actually very dangerous for me. You're basically just thrifting and looking into other people's closets and buying stuff from them. At the same time you can also sell your items. So for example, this dress that I'm upcycling today, the person that put it in the thrift store could have easily put it up on Poshmark. Who would have thought that I would be buying a dress that's basically falling apart? You never know. Some people actually buy stuff. I mean, at the end of the day, you are giving away the item and why not just make a few bucks off of it? The way to use Poshmark is super simple. All you have to do is take a picture of the item that you want to sell. Personally, I also like to put up a photo of me wearing the garment. That way they could see it on a person. Add a quick description, put your price that you want to sell it at, and that's pretty much it. And what I like about Poshmark is that you could shop by brand. So for me, like if I want to find a specific vintage brand, I could, you know, search it up on Poshmark and it'll show all the listings for that brand. You guys can find brands like Nike, Michael Kors, and my favorite Versace. I love shopping on Poshmark for vintage Versace. It's like my, I don't know, it's my kink. To get started on Poshmark, just download the free app using my link below and put your closet handles in the comments. That way we can follow each other and shop each other's closets. I mean, we're all fashionable. If you're watching this video, you're definitely into fashion. So it'll be kind of like a cute little closet shopping party. If you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe down below for more videos like this and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the next time that I post. And with all that being said, let's jump right into this video. For this tutorial, you need an old dress. As you guys can see, it's like falling apart like the seam is ripping, beads are falling out, it's just like not cute at all. Some extra trimming to bedazzle your dress but that is optional. Rhinestone fabric and lining and the huge for sewing which is pins, a pen, E6000 glue, scissors, measuring tape, and a needle and thread which is not filmed. So here's the old dress I will be using. It's still cute but it is a bit out of style and plus the beading and stitches were coming undone. Also someone put a ton of dried hot glue tracks on the inside like I have no idea what they're trying to do with that. The dress was a little big on me, so I took the dress in around the boob area to make it smaller. After I sewed it down with a top stitch, I cut off the excess seam allowance. Next, I folded the top in half to make it more into a waistband because we will be making a new top instead. For the back side of the top, I wanted the width to be 5 inches and the length to be 13 inches, so I just marked it on my lining and drew a triangle connecting the two points. I used the back piece as a template for the front piece, but I just made it a little wider so I could fold in a small dart in the middle, and I also made the top of the strap go a little more at a diagonal to make room for my neck. You want to make sure the top part of both the back and the front pieces are the same width because you will be sewing them together, so just adjust it as needed. You then want to cut four pieces each out of your front and back pieces. For the front pieces, fold a small half inch dart in the middle of the piece and place these on top of each other. Sew around the piece leaving a small gap so you can invert it later and then repeat to the back pieces. Cut off any excess seam allowance and invert your pieces and close up your opening with a top stitch afterwards. You can top stitch around the whole piece if you'd like, but it's really not necessary. Attach one front piece to one back piece at the top with a straight stitch. Next, I laid the jeweled fabric on top to find the biggest section that can cover majority of the piece. I originally was sewing it down with my machine, but it was really hard to sew over the beads, so I switched to hand stitching. For all the empty spots, I cut out individual jeweled pieces and then I glued them on top.
Attach your new piece to the waistband of the dress and sew it down with a top stitch. I cut off the edge of the jeweled fabric because it had this gorgeous bottom design and I attached that on the top of the waistband to blend the top and the skirt together. I think it's always smart to find fabric that you could use in multiple ways. For example, it would have been way more expensive if I bought the bottom trimming separate and smaller individual separate jeweled pieces versus buying it all on one fabric and just cutting it out myself. I saved so much money and I still have a ton of jeweled fabric left over for another project. I definitely had to use my thimble halfway through because stitching just made my fingers so raw. And yes, the inside is not cute at all. So in this case, it doesn't matter what's on the inside, it's the outside that counts. To sexify my dress a little more, I added a slit for my right leg. I just cut up the skirt and folded the edge over to top stitch it. I kept the tool the same way as well, except you don't really need to hem tool. And after that, I was finished. I ended up not using the extra trimming that I bought because the fabric ended up being more than enough. Okay, let's be real you guys, I do not look like I'm going to prom, I look like I'm going to the castle and there's this fancy gala and I'm trying to find my prince charming or something cause like... But to be honest, I feel like if I were to do prom all over again, I think I would wear this whole thing, like even the tiara and just like super extra. Oh, so this leg brace, I actually was supposed to put this trim somewhere here but I decided not to last minute. I literally just wrapped it around my leg you guys and just like made a few stitches and stuff. But yeah. It was really easy and I feel like it's a nice little accent, like a little accessory for your leg, especially for the leg slit. But I also feel like I look like Laura Croft with this leg brace, like Laura Croft going to prom or something. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And I know because this is kind of like an Amber Stroll related-ish video, I know there are going to be a lot of people asking for me and Amber to do a collab because that's actually one of the most popular comments I get in my videos. And as much as I would love to do a collab with Amber, I personally don't think she does collabs with other people on her YouTube channel. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. She is honestly the sweetest person in the world. The way she is on YouTube, like in her videos, that's how she is. Is in real life. She's such a gem. She's the cutest, honestly. In the past, me and her did talk about me showing her some sewing basics, but I mean, that kind of fell through, but you never know. Who knows? Maybe something will happen in the future. I guess we'll just see. On that note, don't forget to download the Poshmark app using my link down in the description box below. If you guys want to connect with me on social media, all my socials are at Rose. That is it for this video. I love you guys all, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!